Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial which is how you are going to connect the SQLite database and import data. So SQLite database is one of the very common database because it is portable. You can even keep it in your system as a local system and whenever we create any proof of concept or a small scenario SQLite is very powerful even in the uh, mobile applications Many mobile manufacturers basically, you know, provide the SQLite database as an inbuilt database to manage the files and the system files and all together the different files required by the, uh, by the mobile. So in this video, I will show you how you can connect the SQLite database and you can import the data. All right. So let's go into the Power BI. So here we are within the Power BI. And uh, actually before going into the Power BI, what you need is the ODBC driver if you not have it already. So if I go back and here in this second window, if you see uh, what I have done is just made a search on the SQLite 64 bit ODBC driver, right? And you will get this first website SQLite ODBC driver. And down there, you will see you have a couple of options. What I recommend is if you are having the 64 bit system is download this. Otherwise, you have this one. So I have already downloaded this and installed this, this exe file. And that's what you need to do. The next step is creating the DS and the data source name. And for that, I will just write the DSN and you will see that ODBC data sources is coming over here. And this application or this window will ask the addition of the DSN. So we'll click on add and here we will going to provide the SQLite. So we will choose the SQLite 3 ODBC driver. It will appear only when you will do the installation of the SQLite 3 ODBC driver, which is this one, which I've shown you there. So once I click finish, another window will come. And the database name is Chinook. So I can say SQLite underscore Chinook or space Chinook. What I really like is saying underscore because that goes with the programming flow. After that, we need to provide the database name. So I'll click on the browse. Look at going to the location and uh, I will search for SQLite here. And in SQLite, I have sample database and in sample, I have Chinook as one of the database and I'll click open and I will just click OK and click OK. So now I need to go into the Power BI. All right. So here I am in the Power BI. Now I go into the get data option, click on more. I need to go into the ODBC connection. So I will jump on this other section. And here I have this ODBC because if you remember, that was the ODBC window where we created the DSN. So once we click on connect, it will start showing us some of these options like Amazon Rideshift, Excel file, Microsoft Access. Down there, if you see, you have a couple of more options and the one DSN we created, SQLite Chinook, is present here. So if I just click OK, it will start asking us is whether any database credential is present, default or custom is present, or Windows is present. So I will just going to use my current credentials and click connect. It will do the processing in the backend. And if you will see all my tables, which is there in this database is present. Now, if I want, let's say the customer, the employees table, uh, genre, maybe invoices. So whatever we want, I mean, uh, you can just select and click on load. And once you start loading the information, it will come into the uh, Power BI for the purpose for your own purpose of uh, data manipulation or any visualization that you want to create. So let's go into the data section. Down there, you see the customer table is present. If you want to look at the employees table, the employee table is present. And here the relationship is there. So right now the relationship is not there because these are the two separate database or two separate tables altogether. When we will import more table, we will going to, uh, we will even able to create the relationships. And suppose if there is a need or you have a need to uh, add more table. So you need to come over here, manage and connect recent sources and click on this most recent one SQLite Chinook. If I just click it over here, 
you will see the table has come again and here uh, we have these playlist customer employees maybe um what we can take is albums and artists and click on load so now it will be uh, it will start loading the information into the table and if you will see if i just hide this pane uh, based on this artist id there is a connection by default made by the album and artist label but that's about uh, how first of all you can connect import this data and then add more tables if you need to remove the tables you can always come here and you have the option of deleting the table from the model so with that you can do all the database management um, from sqlite to here uh, based on the analysis or the data points that you need so that's about it and now i'll meet you in the next topic